Start by removing uh, five screws that hold the air box cover on. Then just remove the air box cover and the filter I just removed just so it doesn't get lost. And there's two 8 millimeter bolts that hold the air box cover uh, onto the kind of the bike or the engine frame. Remove those two. This is just the uh, choke kind of plastic cap. Move that. There's two screws that hold on kind of a little C clamp, uh, two Phillips screws. Remove those two Phillips screws. This is just kind of the little C clamp that I'm going to try and wiggle off there. Sorry about the hand. Be careful with that uh, choke, it's kind of delicate. You just got to be very careful. There's also a washer. Be careful not to lose that washer. It's the manifold hose clamp. We're going to remove that uh, so we can actually remove the carburetor itself from the manifold. That's what I'm doing here. This is the air box uh, being removed from the carburetor. Uh, loosen the clamp and just pull it apart. Spin this nut all the way off, all the way till it's just on the cable. Uh, then you can actually remove it. I'm not going to be able to do it with just one hand, but I'll show you what exactly you have to do to pop that off there. Then there's a little, there's going to be a little barrel piece coming up. A little guy just pop that out of there, and you removed your uh, throttle cable completely. Now we're going to remove the fuel line. Just remove the little clamp, pop a little hose off. You'll see in the next clip I like to put the fuel line, tuck it up in there so that uh, any oil, any remaining oil in that single line doesn't leak out. Let's go back over to the side of the bike. We need to remove the screw that holds the carburetor drain hose in place. That'll be this screw right here. And you're going to want to fish that hose up through the uh, bike there and remove the flat blade screwdriver that's on the bottom. Now you can bring your carburetor up to the gas tank and drain all the fuel that's in the carburetor out. That way you don't spill anything and waste fuel. At this point you should be able to remove the carburetor completely from the bike. I've put three red arrows pointing to the three screws you'll need to remove to open the carburetor. The blue arrow points to the uh, drain hose. The carburetor is on its back uh, at the moment. So you're seeing the bottom of the carburetor. You're going to have to remove these three screws. On some of them they're just Phillips screws and you just take them out. But on some bikes like mine the heads of the screws were broken off at the manufacturing company and you can't just remove them. What I did to get the screws out is I took a Dremel tool and I grinded a flat blade across the screw and it did cut into the casting a little bit but that allowed me to use a flathead screwdriver and actually remove those three screws. This is what you hear when people say do you have a sealed carburetor? They're talking about these three screws. Are the heads of them busted off or not? It's not really sealed and it's not that hard to get into. After you get those screws out, just lift the uh, bottom of the carburetor off and you'll see the two uh, jets. You have a pilot jet and a main jet. This is the problem I've seen with these bikes. Uh, they're too lean. The main jet needs to be upsized. Uh, the bike, one bike that I had, had a 61 main jet. I've found that they run good with a 75 to 80 main jet and about a 32 to 35 pilot jet. You kind of just got to play around to get it, uh, you just get the right one for your bike. Uh, here's a picture of the two jets, the pilot jet and the main jet. Install your pilot jet. Install your main jet. Now put it all back together. After you get everything all assembled back together, you're going to need to get fuel down into the carburetor. 
a good way to do that is to disconnect this air hose that's connected to your intake manifold and just suck on the hose. This will basically open up the diaphragm inside your fuel regulator and that will allow fuel to pass through uh, and fill up the carburetor.